Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. I am Coaster Chow, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to your Cedar Fair 2022 final predictions. Now, obviously, this is going to be a very, very interesting video indeed. Uh, we'll be looking into uh, the possible predictions as to uh, what could be coming to Cedar Fair Park. It's going to have a quite, a few, uh, quite a couple of off years, uh, some little attractions here and there, a couple of coasters as well. Uh, so stay tuned for all of that. But for now, please like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please check the description for Google Forms and social media links, and stay tuned for the Million Entertainment prediction videos, Halloween updates, and also the uh, 65FS Texas news update tomorrow when we'll bring you news on the uh, official new clue, should we say, uh, for the uh, the final clue for their new 2022 attraction, which will be announced uh, at 8 o'clock tomorrow night at UK time. So uh, stay tuned for that. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Cedar Fair's final predictions. So in terms of off years, in terms of traditional off years, we have California's Great America with more events, Michigan's Adventure and Valley Fair. Now, there are three other parts taken, in my opinion, off years. Um, however, this could be prep for something. Canada's Wonderland, Worlds of Fun and Knott's Berry Farm. Now, Knott's Berry Farm and Worlds of Fun, in my opinion, could potentially get 2023 roller coasters. Knott's Berry Farm with the B&M stuff and the B&M situation and Worlds of Fun with the potential for a new coaster um, for their 50th anniversary in 2023. Now, I would like to see that. That'd be amazing. Whether it's relocated or new, I think Worlds of Fun will get a new coaster in 2023. I think it's 50-50 uh, in my opinion at this point. So we'll see what happens you know, going into next year. But I think we'll start to see prep or some kind of um, you know, talk about it next year. Uh, ready for that anniversary. Now, obviously, Canada's Wonderland could be 2023 or 2024. So maybe 2022, we start to hear the first rumblings about something. And maybe 2023 or 2024, we start to see the new coaster. So I think that Canada's Wonderland, Knott's Berry Farm, and Worlds of Fun could be the three parts to watch out for the most in 2023. And Canada's Wonderland, maybe 2024 as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Now, obviously, we've got to talk about parks that are going to be getting some new stuff uh, for 2022. Starting off with Carowinds, and I'm going to stick with my prediction of an antique car ride. So this is the classic vintage cars that what Kings Island did uh, with their vintage autos. Um, I think that Carowinds will do the same for 2022 on that Dinosaurs Alive site. And I think that Carowinds could even make, could even sort of put together with that a more, even more grander Grand Carnival event, maybe. So uh, I think there's real potential for that as well. So uh, uh, real opportunities there for Carowinds. But the main thing will be a new antique car ride. Cedar Point uh, will get a new coaster in my opinion. And I think we're looking here at the world's first 15 inversion roller coaster. I think we're looking here at the Gerslau project. I think that's a real possibility here for uh, for Cedar Point. So I think Cedar Point will get the 15 inversion roller coaster for 2022. If not for 2023. If the coaster's not coming next year, I personally believe it will be uh, just an off year for Cedar Point, some kind of um, like new events and new celebrations, just just a general overlook year so, and some general TLC going around it. So I think with Cedar Point, it's just uh, wait and see. Dorney Park, I think they'll get the Gravity Group wooden shuttle coaster that we knew about uh, over the previous year or so. Uh, I think that's going to be a perfect addition for Dorney Park, perfect for the for the theme park's ride lineup, and I think that this would be uh, a welcome addition. King's Dominion, I think we'll get the 4D free spin coast they've been teasing recently, so uh, I think this is a real possibility. So, obviously we knew about the free spin months ago, nearly uh, about a year or so ago, uh, again we knew that already. And I think that overall, this is what we're looking at for King's Dominion, a bamboo themed cryptic 4D free spin coaster replacing the old crypt top spin sign. And finally, Kings Island. I think the only thing they'll, or the big thing they'll do, is they'll rename Soak City to something Kings Island themed, something Ohio themed, kind of like what California's Great America did with their uh, South Bay Shores. I'd like to see this renamed to Ohio Bay Shores. Now, again, that's very a very Cedar Fair thing to do. Uh, to, to cookie cutter names, but I think Ohio Bay Shores isn't actually that bad of a name. I think that's perfect for the for the water park. So, uh, and to be fair, I've had rumblings from Kings Island fans. They've been wanting to rename the water park for years. So, I think that 
Um, you know, Ohio Bay Shores is a perfect name for, for Kings Island, do, uh, Soak City Water Park. So I reckon that's what we're looking at here for Kings Island. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is your Cedar Fair predictions for 2022, your final predictions. Now, a real mix in there, a water park rename, a new antique, antique car ride, a couple of coasters, uh, preparations for 2023 editions, maybe, for a, for, for a couple of parks, two or three parks. So, we'll see what happens with them. I think there's real potential here with that. So I, I reckon there's some exciting stuff to look out for for next year and the year after. So I think Cedar Fair are always looking ahead, looking to move on, always a step forward. So uh, we'll see what happens with all of that. So that is going to be it for these prediction videos. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the Million Entertainment's one coming next. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell Keatley on the Coast Life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Cedar Fair-tastic day.